I feel like you guys are very underrated. And when it comes to the MVP race, everyone seems obsessed with Russell Wilson. But I, I would definitely argue that you, Ryan Tannehill, should also be in that mix. Why, in your opinion, is Tannehill not getting the respect he deserves right now? Honestly, I don't know. Um, I think he's showing it, showing it week after week. I think that, you know, that respect should start coming. Um, he's playing at a high level. We're 5-0, and oh, and I think that campaign needs to start. Ten Hill for MVP. Ten Hill for MVP. All right, so tell me, what was more satisfying, the stiff arm on Josh Norman or the 94-yard run against the Texans? Oh, I appreciate it all. <laughs> you appreciate it all? <laughs> I appreciate it all. Anything that I can get out there and um, make a play for my team, I appreciate it all. It's hard to come by in this league, so I appreciate it all. Yeah, I want to talk about the stiff arm. You said it's because you do too many curls. How, ma how many is too many curls? And like, how many do I need to do to get like that? <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, we um, we have a thing at, um, on our team on Fridays, what we call it uh, Swole on Friday. So we match <laughs> the arms and the upper body. So maybe I need to uh, lay off the Swole on Fridays for a little bit. Do we Or do a YouTube tutorial on how <laughs> to get like <laughs> Exactly. So I'm, I'm sure you've seen the hoopla around Mike Rabel creating the fourth timeout for you guys. By getting that penalty to stop the clock, it ended up saving you guys 40 extra seconds that you guys needed to then get the, the game time touchdown to go into o OT. So at the time he did that, did you know what he was doing? Actually, I wasn't even uh, paying attention. I think I was doing something when that when that was going on, but I heard about it after the game. You know, um, you know I told him, you got to stop giving out his secrets, his tactics, because everybody's catching on. I think a decision like that also shows how much confidence he has in the offense that if they are given time, you guys can make it happen. In your opinion, is he the best or the most, or is this the most complete offense and coach you've played with? As um, far as in the league, I would, I would say yes. Um, Perverse is just smart, you know, um, studied the game a lot. He's played, you know, for a long time, um, won Super Bowls. So he knows the ins and out, you know, of the game. And he's make sure that we're, we're well prepared throughout the week. And, you know, we have a great coaching staff that helps us get prepared. And on um, offense, you know, we've just been clicking, you know, on all cylinders um, right now. We want to keep that momentum going. And you know, we, we know it all starts with preparation. So. You led the league in rushing yards last season. You've already shown out so far this season. Um, and you've partnered with Dr. Teals. I want to know what goes into your recovery and how important are those days when it comes to being ready for the day? Yeah, uh, recovery days are definitely important after a game. Um, and Dr. Teals is definitely my recovery plan. You know, as far as me soaking the water, using Dr. Teals to get my body back under me, get my body recharged. And even after a workout, you know, I use Dr. Teals, and especially after a game when you know, I'm taking a lot of hits, trying to get my body back under me for practice. Uh, for preparation that week um, against another opponent, then Dr. Tills is, you know, is, is my go-to. Um, just sitting there, let my body soak, uh, let my body relax, and then um, feel better the next day. And everybody who, have, who, who don't use Dr. Tills, I recommend them to use it. It's definitely um, a great recovery um, company to use as far as getting your body back under you, even you know, after a long day or anything else, to get, let your body relax and have your muscles feeling great. Hey sports fans, if you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more from USA Today Sports.